morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. Hello, baked beans. How are ya? Um, this week, I thought I'd bake another thing, but actually, I'm not going to bake anything. I'm just going to make it and chill it. And as you've probably guessed from the title, I'm going to make a Biscoff cheesecake for you this week. Now, I've never actually made a cheesecake before, so this is the first time for me, and it might be for you too. But with cheesecakes, you can pick any flavour you want. Uh, and one of my favourite flavours is Biscoff. So I'm going to be using the spread and I'm going to be using the biscuits in the base. Uh, yeah, so as per usual, grab your ingredients, wash your hands, take your jewellery off, bare hands, clean hands, uh, tie your hair up, ta-da! And uh, yeah, let's get making! Okay, so for this recipe you are going to need a round tin um, that you want your cheesecake to be in, or it can be square, whatever. Um, you're going to need uh, 150 grams of Biscoff biscuits, uh, 60 grams of butter, 150 millilitres of double cream, 250 grams of mascarpone, or you can use cream cheese if you prefer, 125 grams of Biscoff spread, you're also going to need icing sugar or sweetener. I'm going to use sweetener because I don't have any uh, icing sugar. And you need vanilla extract or vanilla syrup. So I'm just going to use vanilla syrup. And that's it. So let's go. Okay, so first up, what you want to do is you want to get your biscuits and a little um, food processor. Or um, you could put your biscuits in a bag um, and bash them with a rolling pin. But I'm going to chuck them in the food processor. So I'm going to pop them in. Let's break them up a little bit. And I'm going to do it bit by bit. And you just want to get like a fine crumb on them. So I'll just show you how I do mine. Like that. I'm just going to do the rest and then I'll show you the next bit. So when all your biscuits are blended up or bashed up, they should look a little bit like this. So what you need to do now is you need to get a medium sized pan like this one. Mine's all scratched up, don't mind that. And you need to get your 60 grams of butter and you're gonna melt your butter and then you're gonna mix your uh, biscuit crumbs in and make a bit of a sort of biscuity paste. Right, so I've mixed together my bread crumb, my bread crumbs? No, I've mixed together my biscuit crumbs and my butter. And now I'm gonna bring it over here out the way and I'm gonna get my tin and I'm gonna show you how to make a biscuit base right so you're gonna need your tin and your um, biscuit mix like so and all you're gonna do is get all of that and pop it in the bottom of your tray and then you're just gonna flatten it all out. So, I've started flattening that out, but what you're gonna need is a metal spoon and you're just gonna go around the edge. It will, first of all, smooth it down. Whoa, make a dent. But smooth it down as much as you can first, yeah. And then you're just going to go round and you're just going to press everything down really smoothly, okay? So you make it really tight and packed in there. Like that, okay? Now, what you should do is let that cool down and while that's cooling, we are going to make our um, topping. So what you're going to need is a bowl. This is my baking bowl that's got some crumbs in it from the biscuit. You are going to need your biscuit spread and you're going to need your mascarpone. So I've got 250 grams of mascarpone that I'm just going to chuck straight in here. And then you're going to chuck your biscuit spread into the bowl. There it goes. Whoa. Then you're going to choose, I'm going to do about, I'm going to start with two teaspoons of sweetener and see how that goes. And then 
I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of vanilla syrup. Great. So I'm just gonna mix those together, I'm gonna beat those together, and I'll be right back. So I just thought I'd show you what it's starting to look like when you mix it together. So just really giving it a good whip, and it'll start to all mix together into a nice caramelly consistency. Right, so after you've been mixing for a little while, your mix just start to be looking like this. Our next step is to add our double cream. So what you need to do is get off all the extra bits from the spoon, waste not, want not, Okay, and I'm just going to grab a whisk and you're going to get yeah, your 150 millilitres of double cream and you're just going to pour it in like so and you're going to give this a whisk but don't whisk too much. Whisk it until it's all nicely mixed together but you don't want it too firm, okay? Okay, so I've been whipping for maybe about two minutes and I didn't go too fast because if you whip it too fast, you will curdle the cream and you don't want that. So nice and slowly does it. And as you can see, it's all merged together. So get your biscuit tin back and knock off all of that. And then we're just going to get our spatula back and we're going to... Pull it all off from the sides, like that, and then just dollop it on top of the biscuit. Okay, so I have completely cleared the bowl and I've just eaten some, which was a bit naughty, but it's so good. So let's just get that bowl out of the way. And then I'm just going to show you. So all of the cheesecake's piled on top and all you've got to do is go round and just very gently, because you don't want to disrupt the biscuit at the bottom, move it all the way around and flatten it down. Mine's going to um, sort of go over the top, but like that's fine. It, what, it, what I mean is that it will sort of be a bit full because my tin isn't very big, but that's all right. So that is ready to go in the fridge for, I'm gonna do it for about four hours. Um, and when it's completely cooled, you can decorate it, woo! Okay, so this is the finished cheesecake, fresh out of the fridge. It's been in there probably three or four hours. Um, you don't have to keep it in that long, but it's good to really firm it up. So I'm going to decorate my cheesecake now. So I'm going to, um, I've put a couple of spoonfuls of my Biscoff spread into a little jar, a little jug, and I'm just gonna pour it on. I'm gonna drizzle it from a height. So let's go. If it's gonna work, I have no idea. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that looks great. There you go. Bit messy, but worth it. Okay, so I've also topped it with some Biscoff biscuits. It looks a bit of a mess, to be honest, but I don't mind because it's going to taste amazing. And this is the finished cheesecake. Look at that. Um, I'm going to cut a slice now and I will show you. But it's super simple. Uh, give it a go. Just try a cheesecake with any flavour. All you need is mascarpone cream and um, some sugar. And then you can do whatever flavour you want. And again, any biscuits flavour you want at the bottom. doesn't matter. But send me in your videos. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see them. Bye, guys.